on everybody this is Gary from Dixie Overland coming to you from the 10th anniversary of Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion here in Pigeon Forge Tennessee what a great show this is massive 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 I can't say enough about how big this show is we're gonna do some interviews with some industry leaders coming up we're walking around we're looking at all the Jeeps and all the products that are here we're gonna show it all to you in the next couple of videos so I want you to stay tuned hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because the best is yet to come
radio unit. The difference between that and the newest of our products is the MXT 575, and that is the 50 watt radio with all the controls, the fully integrated mic controls on the mic, USB charging port for both of those. Awesome. I actually have the MXT 575 in my Jeep, and I love it. Now, it's a GMRS radio, right? So that means that it does it require a license to operate this radio? Yes, it actually does require a license. It's super easy to log on to FCC and apply. You don't have to take a test or anything. That license is good for 10 years. It covers your entire immediate family. And, and actually, they just reduced the price a couple months ago, so now it's only $35, and it lasts for 10, 10 years. Okay, good deal. Yeah. So why would I get a GMRS radio versus, say, a CB radio? A lot of guys are still running the old CBs. What is the advantage of GMRS versus CB? Uh, yeah, so um, the CB radios, the max wattage allowed is up to 4 watts of power. So with the GMRS allowed by law, you can get up to 50 watts of power. So it brings a lot more power, a lot more range. And another thing that we uh, that we know with CB, you get a lot of static in that, in that communication where this is going to have GMRS is going to have a lot more voice quality. And also, on top of that, GMRS is compatible with FRS. So a lot of those walkie-talkies that you want to grab out if you're spotting or just if someone else in your group only has a walkie, most likely that's going to be an FRS walkie, and that's compatible with the GMRS radios. So those FRS ones are like the types you buy at Walmart in the bubble pack. Mm -hmm. uh, you get the two radios with yep. it. So they can still talk to their friends on the trail, something mm -hmm. like this, even with that. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. yes. Perfect. 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 Sounds like a great product to me. I hope you sell out of them because <laughs> I, I think that it's a great product. Um, you know, your, uh, the range on it, the clarity is really, really good. So I appreciate your time. Yeah, of course. And, uh, you know, have a great rest of the yeah. show. Thank you. Appreciate right. it. Thank you.
wheels. You can ask about them all the time. So now, available in a V-Log option too. So it's really cool. With those red knobs. Right, exactly. Everybody wants to play with the red knob. <laughs> the long arm kit of the Jeep Gladiator. Can you yeah. tell me about that? Yeah. Um, One more time into the camera. Hashtag Camp Freedom, these amazing Jeeps. All right. Built by Counts Customs. All right. Sounds good. It's the artwork on the hoods. Hand painted artwork. Oh, that is nice.
Team bilden. the valve and you can let the air out right here just by doing this. then when you're done with your trail you come back you hook up your compressor right there hit on the setup for the, the the hoses and everything like that so it seems like you have not only a good solution but a very cost effective solution for people that want to run an onboard compressor right yes it is very much so matter of fact uh, the bundle right here the three parts i just showed you together is only 629 it's not bad at all not bad at all it's very good right there um, but yeah the, the air hose system if you want to run that with the compressor that you already have it's only 215 and then these mounts will house any compressor on the market
Steve started in 1994. Um, so I worked with him. We ended up selling that company about four years ago to one of our um, suppliers. And uh, he took some time off and decided we really wanted to get into building this heavy duty steering. And uh, we decided on Apex. So we kind of started with the Jeep product. And now we're branching off to Ford, uh, Dodge, kind of steering. Do you have anything else besides Rock? Or are you guys in development with anything else related to Jeep? Um, with Jeep, we're working on uh, track bars. So right now we have JL track bars, and but we've got JK track bars coming. Um, and then we'll be working on a few more track bars for the board and Dodge as well. All right, excellent, yeah. excellent. Well, I mean, everything on here looks absolutely rock solid. I mean, so, uh, you know, I know that our buddy Shelby uh, is one uh, you know, of the distributors or the uh, shops that we have with. So I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how some of this stuff goes in the future. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you.
we are at the end of Great Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee for 2022. What an amazing show this was. Between the vendor show, the trail rides, and all the after parties that took place all over the town, I can't think of another show that's bigger than this in the United States. If you can think of a bigger show, please drop it in the comments below because I would love to hear about where that is and then go to that one. This was Sturgis for Jeeps. If you've ever seen the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally, then it was the, the similar atmosphere, the same number of vehicles, the similar number of people, and again, the town of Pigeon Forge just came alive. All right, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications and like the video. Share it if you found this content interesting. I'm Gary from Dixie Overland. We'll see y'all in the next video. All right, there you go. Now the red light's on. Okay. I am here at the Thor's. Thor's I almost said lighting. All right. You're good. <laughs> Show itself to the the rides to the the. Yeah. I really need a teleprompter one of these days. If you haven't thought about coming to this show yet,